What's up guys, Sura here, back with another video. Today we're going to be creating a minimal audio setup using the equipment provided by InnoGear. Links will be in the description as always, and with that said, let's get straight into it.
So guys, after fidgeting around with the boom arm, I managed to get it fixed in the perfect position for me to record. As you can see, I've gone ahead and mounted it on the front side of the table. I found this the most comfortable as I can just pull it over to the middle when I need to record videos. Initially, I was going to mount it behind here, but if I was going to mount it behind there, then I would have to get rid of the anchor power port. And to be honest, I have nowhere else I can put it. I could put it there, but there is no power socket there and uh, I would have to fork out for a extension cable in order to do that. Let alone that, it would also have been a hassle to cable manage the mic cable alongside the boom arm. In this case, I've mounted it on the underside of the table. Uh, it's not fixed properly. I've just used a cable drop to uh, attach the cable to the table and it goes round here to the back of the PC. You've also probably noticed that I've changed the layout of the underside of the table. I've now moved the PC into this little cage thing where it's supposed to be uh, out of the way uh, just so your legs aren't right near the PC, you might hit it, you never know. Um, but I've put the subwoofer there because it's small, uh, it's not going to get in the way or anything. The PC's there, it's all looking clean. Um, it's, I've done a bit of cable management. I don't know if you can see this. Oh my no God! God! But yeah, it's looking like a spider's web behind here. But no one needs to see that, obviously. That's why you've got this nice panel to cover that all up. Obviously, I'm going to be moving out soon, so I didn't want to make anything really permanent. So there are some cables still visible, so don't judge me there, but this is what we've got for now. So this is how the mic stand would work. I would just pull it from here. And uh, if you can see the second pop filter, it just moves into place. So if you put this as its original position and I move it into the position I want, it automatically moves in. I've done this because I've attached it to the first part of the boom arm instead of the second. So it doesn't move along with the microphone, it moves separately. So that's why when it's on its own, it's all the way down there and not with the microphone itself. So I'll just move it back like this when I'm editing. And um, it's also not in the way, I'm a quite tall person. So this thing really doesn't block uh, my view when I'm using the monitor screen. So essentially this would be my view when I'm recording and then I would have the microphone right next to me so you guys can hear me loud and clear. Uh, the pop filter is actually really good, I've tested it out. You guys will already know this by the audio quality of the video, but the I think the second pop filter is the best one. Um, if I don't use the second pop filter, there is still some pop noise. Uh, you can see that I've added the first one, which is down here. It's a nice and spongy filter for the mic itself. And then this is the second pop filter. Uh, in terms of build quality, the build quality of the second pop filter is actually very strong. Uh, you can see that it's very sturdy and uh, rigid, so it's not going to be moving around when you're recording or say, let's say you hit your table for any reason, it's not going to be shaking about. It has a very strong build quality. You can see while I'm pulling it out, you can see it smoothly comes out and smoothly goes back. None of that clanky spring metal noises that you get with my old uh, boom arm. You guys might have noticed that in my older videos where I had the red boom arm. Uh, that was a gloss finish. You can see that this one is actually a matte black finish and it suits the trim or let's say the accents of the red blue Yeti microphone. A nice satin black or matte black to go with the theme. In terms of cable management for the microphone uh, stand itself, you guys know that I don't want to make anything too permanent. So I just rooted it around the screws, goes all the way up, goes around the next screw, comes down, goes through the clamp for the uh, pop filter, which is pretty smart, yes I know. And then goes down, all the way down behind this clamp, and then goes to the cable drop and goes straight to the back of the USB 3.0 port on my PC. So overall, it's not too visible. You can't really see it. While I'm recording, you won't be able to see it that much either because it's gonna be out the way. I'm mainly gonna be looking at the screen, obviously. In my opinion, this is a very high quality product. You do get very strong, high quality parts for this item. Uh, you can see this little metal clamp. It's actually very durable and strong as it is with the microphone stand itself. The only complaint I have with the microphone stand itself is that it is quite short. You can see that it only spans to about half the length of my table. Um, it's kind of annoying because obviously I'm gonna be putting my hand through the arch of the mic stand itself. So my hand's gonna be here using the mouse. If I need to get something urgently, then I'm obviously gonna be hitting into the microphone stand itself. Or let's say I'm gonna be adjusting something on my headphones and I'm gonna do it quickly, then this is gonna be kind of a problem. I've chosen to put the clamp on the front side of the table. Uh, I could have put it in the back, like I said before. I did want to put it on the side, however, but the side does have the LED strips that I'm using. 
and the side is also raised with this sort of side protector. This is going to be unbalanced towards the mic and uh, it may wobble and uh, wouldn't give me a stable installation. So this is the flat side of the table and as you can see it's sitting flat and flush against the table. I'll give you guys a quick microphone test so you guys can hear the difference between having a inner gear mic stand set and also without it. This is a mic test speaking directly into the Blue Yeti microphone without any sort of pop filters. This is a mic test speaking directly into the Blue Yeti microphone with both the included pop filters. I'm pretty sure you guys can work out for yourself which audio was the best. So I'll be sure to leave the links in the description so you guys can check it out for yourselves. Shout out to Inner Gear for sending this out. And with that said guys, we've come to the end of another video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like rating to let me know that you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in my next one.